Now, let's go over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Uh, Dave is the managing director, head of product at Direction. And, of course, he can uh, basically lead us <laughs> into these different volatile markets that we've been looking at uh, quite a bit. Uh, if you haven't test-driven yet uh, any of the Direction products, real easy to do. You're right at our website at TFNN. Just hit that banner. Dave Mazza, what's going on? Hey, thanks for having me back. How are you been? I've uh, been great, man. Great to have you back. And, you know, I'd love to, last time, you know, last couple times, you, we've been talking a little bit about, we get some rotation in the marketplace, right? Yeah. And, you know, those small caps today, Dave, they just took off like ASAP. And, of course, folks, uh, you know, inside of the small caps, um, as you come over to Direction.com, and Direction is spelled D-I-R, E X I O N, uh, they have the TNA. And the TNA is uh, something that folks really love to trade. Uh, we get some little, we get some action here, Dave. Yeah, no, you're right. Um, we've been talking about this for a few weeks. There's been this kind of push pull relationship. Uh, on one hand, it's the stay open, uh, reopening trade, the stay at home trade, but really it's also large versus small and growth versus value. And today, you're absolutely right. Uh, like we've seen uh, some pockets of the last few weeks, today's been an all small cap day where some of the riskiest higher beta stocks really leading the charge higher. You know, just take a look at the, uh, some, some of the financial names. Of course, the energy names are really ripping, and those names have been out of favor. So in days like this, this is when we see, you know, traders really look to uh, T TNA or even TZA uh, if they want to play the other side of it yep. to take advantage of those small cap moves. You know, you know what's amazing is that I remember the first time, I think it was, let's see, it probably maybe it was six weeks ago that you, you had brought it up that we felt like there was some rotation that was taking place. And it's really wild because at the beginning of a rotation, it's like, okay, is it, is it not taking place? But this morning, it was pretty clear. I mean, you know, the, the NASDAQ, you know, you can see that, you know, the, the, the tech stocks are getting hit a little. Um, inside of the, the small caps, the, well, the banks right away. The, you know, the, the banks right away just start, you know, going higher. So it's, it's pretty wild, man. And, and if yeah, well, you're, you're absolutely right. I think um, uh, we, and traders have been distracted, not in a bad way necessarily, but because of earnings season. And we know, you know, if you look at the, the really that FANG plus group, you know, in aggregate 50% earnings beats, uh, which is pretty wild in, in, any, in any market environment, but especially one with as much uncertainty that we find ourselves in this global pandemic. Uh, but again, now that, you know, 90% of S&P companies have reported, investors are turning their attention again to other opportunities. And right now, um, you know, it, it's saying, can we look at some of these beaten down names? Uh, and what's interesting is we're starting to see, you know, this come into play again. So what I'm going to continue to look at is some of these leading indicators that I use. So I like to look at the semiconductor relative to the NASDAQ or yes. the S&P 500. 